I figured I would do like a, I guess a daily vlog today. I don't vlog here on my channel very much at all. I guess probably the last time I did was Vlogmas last year. Um, but I figured I would do it today. I'm home. I have a lot of stuff to do today, but I'm home by myself. So it's nice and quiet. So I figured I would just take you along for my day. You saw a few clips of my morning. I tried to get making the bed and doing my workout. I'm still unwell from that workout. That was brutal. I do Sydney Cummings workouts here on YouTube. If you need a good at-home workout video, you can find it on her channel. They are brutal, though. As you can see, I was struggling <laughs> very much during that one, but... I'm just gonna make some breakfast now and then we'll get ready. I need to go run a few errands today. I have to do a few returns. I have to go pick up a Sephora order, story of my life. Um, and then I, I just need to run a few errands. I need to run to Target to get a few things. I need to finish a video. So I figured I would take you along with me, but we're gonna make some breakfast. So I pretty much eat the same thing every day. I don't even, I don't think I'm even at a good angle. Hold on. Is this any better? I have no clue, but <laughs> I'm not a vlogger, so I'm not very experienced with this. So please forgive me if this vlog is not super aesthetic. That's not really what I normally do. So I'm doing my best though. So I'm doing the same thing I do every single morning. I always have two eggs and I will either do oatmeal or usually a piece of sourdough bread with some avocado on it. I'm out of blueberries for my oatmeal. So I think we're gonna do the avocado today instead. Add some salt. And pepper. Any moment now you'll see my cats appear. They love to eat eggs. Every single morning when I have breakfast, they come and they love eggs. I don't do your cats love eggs because mine uh mine are obsessed with them. Alrighty. I'm gonna do some sourdough bread. This one is uh, the Trader Joe's one. It's really good. I told you. Hi, Belle. Okay, I know it doesn't really look appetizing, but it is, I promise. Hi, Cosmo. Hi, Belle. Hi, Louie. I told you we would have friends. Hi. Come on. I will give you a bite. You gotta wait for it to cool down. Okay? I promise I'm gonna save you some. I'm gonna save you some. Oh, excuse me. It's not very polite. Girl! Can you say please? There you go. 
Here you go, Lou. Cosmo, come here. Come here. There you go. Okay, just got out of the shower and I'm gonna do my skincare. Um, I'm using this Good Molecules, I don't know if that's in frame. Good Molecules uh, Pressed Rosehip Seed Oil. And I use this uh, when I use my little gua sha in the morning. Trying to be better about doing this every single day. And right now in the morning, I'm using this cleanser. This is by Peach and Lily. It's the Power Calm Hydrating. Oh, it's almost gone. Power Calm Hydrating Cleanser. I got sent it in PR. It's not anything special. I wouldn't buy it on my own, but it's fine. Just been trying to use it up. All right, so two things that I do think are worth it are these. I've talked about this one a lot already, but this is the Aquel Licorice pH Balancing Toner in uh, or by the Aquel brand. I've been using this probably six months, maybe longer than that. This is like my third one of these. I know I've talked about it before, but I love it. I love the licorice root in it. My skin loves licorice root. It's really good if you have any sensitivities. It feels really, really good on your skin. So I apply that after I do, or after I cleanse. And then, this is newer to me. I don't think I've talked about this on YouTube, but I've been using it. The Rode Glazing Milk. This is the first product I've tried from Rode that I do actually think is worth it. I've tried everything from that brand. Um, and none of it's bad, but uh, nothing is super special except this to me. So I love this. It's like a milky... Whoops, it's like a milky texture. A little bit of a thicker essence. But this, if you have dry skin, oh my gosh, especially in winter, this product is amazing. It doesn't have a smell and it has tons of really good ingredients in it. I mean, it just feels, it feels amazing on your face. Works beautifully under makeup too. So I've been using that, and then I also use the I'm From Rice toner. I'm out of that one right now, but I also use that, and I love it. It's kind of similar to the Rode one, but that one is not as thick as the Rode. So they're a little bit different, but I do love this stuff. I will buy it again for sure. Then I do some eye, some eye cream. This is pretty new to me. This is by the same brand I'm from. So the I'm from Rice Toner. This is the I'm from Ginseng Eye Cream. I bought this a while ago, but I'm just getting around to using it because I've been trying to use up some other things. But this is really nice. It's a thicker eye cream, but it's not too thick for... The daytime so I'm still testing it out but I really love the consistency of this I haven't had any issues with applying makeup or anything over the top so I've been liking this also all right and then for vitamin C I'm still using this one from may love I love it this is the glow maker antioxidant serum 
So I just do a little bit of that. I'm almost out of this actually. I love this. Then I try to wait for that to kind of sink in and I'll put something on my lips. I either use City Lips from City Beauty, the clear one, or the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I love these. Now my hair, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. It definitely needs to be washed, so we'll probably have to do that tonight, but I don't have time to do that right now. Or I do have time, I don't want to do that right now. So whenever my hair is really dirty, I either do a slick back bun or I will just put it in a claw clip. I think we're gonna do a claw clip today. I have to use like a, a gigantic size claw clip because I have so much hair. And then um, sometimes I skip this. I'm gonna do it today just cause this is by the brand BU, which is very appropriate for my channel. I just got this in PR, so I've been testing it. This is their hyaluronic acid gel moisturizer. And so far I really like it. It is like a true clear gel, but it feels really good. And I do do SPF. I just wait and do that when I go upstairs in my office and do my makeup for the day. So I do wear SPF. I just don't put it on right now. All right. Welcome to my laundry room. <laughs> uh, I know this vlog is really exciting. But this is pretty much what my life is like. It's not super exciting. But I know a lot of you like to see this kind of stuff, so I figured while I fold this laundry, we could chat about uh, my surgery that I'm having next week. If you're new to my channel, I will link a video where I kind of explain more, but basically next Tuesday. Today is Wednesday, so this coming Tuesday I'm getting, or I'm having a laparoscopy done, and um, I'm having that done to see if I have endometriosis. So I've been, I've had to go to a few like pre-op appointments for that, which I've never really heard of, but um, the doctor that is doing it, I guess he I don't know. He takes a lot of precautions, which is a good thing. So I went and did that yesterday. I had like a pre-anesthesia appointment and they kind of just told me how everything is going to go and I'm having it done. I'm the first appointment that day. So I think I have to be there at like four or 30 in the morning, which is not the most ideal, but that's okay. At least I'll get it over with and I'll have most of the day. But anyway, when I went to that pre-anesthesia appointment, they told me that I have to, they told me a lot of things I have to do. They told me I have to stop taking all of my vitamins, which kind of seems strange to me, but that's what they said. So normally I take a probiotic and I take a prenatal vitamin every day, but they told me to stop doing that, so. When I was doing skincare earlier, that's when I normally would do that, but they told me not to, so I'm not doing that. And let's see, what else do I have to do? They gave me a specific Ensure beverage to drink. I have to drink that like the night before I have it done, and then I have to drink it the morning of. Then they gave me a specific body wash to use before I have this done, and I don't know. I, I'm very, very nervous about it. If you can't tell, I am trying to not be, but I'm very nervous about it. I have been put to sleep before, but it's been years and I don't know. It's not really the being put to sleep that scares me. It's um, 
It's just a weird thing to know, okay, when I wake up, they're going to tell me if I have endometriosis or not, you know? I don't know. I'm trying to not be a baby about it, but I'm not really good with doctors and things like that. They make me really, really nervous. So this has not been a fun thing to know that I'm doing in a week, but I know that I need to do it. So anyway, vlog camera died. So switching over to my phone now. But anyway, if you want to know more about why I'm having this done and more details, I will link the video where I kind of talk about it a little bit more. That's kind of what's going on in my life. Oh, the other thing I have to do, which this is, again, not the most pleasant thing, but this doctor, I guess, likes to do a bowel prep. Yeah. I guess like when you have a colonoscopy, like that kind of thing, before he does a laparoscopy, he says it's supposed to help not have issues once it's done. So I have to do that also. So one of the things I have to get from Target today is some liquid magnesium citrate, I think is what it is. So yeah, really looking forward to that. That's kind of what's going on, but I'm just trying to try not to worry about it, but I am worried about it. Oh, the other thing, so many things. So when I went to the pre-anesthesia appointment, they told me also that I can't have any jewelry on when I have this done, which is fine, but I have two permanent bracelets on my arm that I've had for a while. One of them I've had for like four years, five years. And I got it, if you've been around for a long time, I got it when I was in New York with my mom years ago. And it's really special because I got it on that trip and it reminds me of that trip. So I really don't want to ruin it and take it off. But she basically told me I have to take it off. So I also have to figure out how to get that done. And I don't know how other than cutting it off with like some wire cutters, which I really don't want to do, but I'm not sure how else to get it off. Let's see, what else did they tell me? It's kind of like information overload. I almost wanted to be like, okay, I, oh my God, my sock just fell in my coffee. Oh my gosh. Gosh, this vlog all over the place. My sock just fell in my coffee, so I'm gonna have to wash that again. Okay, I think that's everything. I'm gonna put this stuff away and then we'll go do some makeup and then we will finally leave the house. All right, I'm filming this part real quickly on my iPhone because the camera is still recharging. I'm gonna have to get a second camera battery for my vlog camera. Forgot that they die really, really quickly. So I'm just gonna use my phone. This takes me back to when I first started my channel because when I first started, I filmed on my iPhone. And it's very different from using a camera because when you film on an iPhone, you have to look to the side in order to be looking at the camera. You can't like look in the center, otherwise it's like you're looking away. <laughs> so I remember that now. I, I had to get used to that whack when I did, or when I filmed my videos that way. I'm just applying uh, my SPF for the day. Of course, I'm using the Skin 1004. All right, I am applying some corrector under my eyes that I definitely need today. Our power went out randomly last night at like three o'clock in the morning. And we are, we sleep with a really big fan in our room. So we have a ceiling fan and we also have a fan that like sits on the floor and it's like one of those huge really loud fans. I cannot sleep in silence. Like I, I cannot do it. So when the power went off last night at three o'clock in the morning, obviously the fan turned off. So it was like dead quiet all of a sudden. And of course 
that woke me up immediately and I could not, I couldn't go back to sleep. It took me a while to fall back asleep. Thankfully it came back on in like an hour and a half, but oof, it was brutal. But because of that, I definitely feel like my under eyes are looking extra dark today. I'm going to use my Estee Lauder today. This is the Double Wear Sheer, which I love so, so much. I'm using the shade 2N1. Okay, I did some concealer and some powder. Now I'm moving on to some bronzer. If I show every single step, this is gonna take forever. So I'm trying to speed up because I need to get going. I'm gonna use this Makeup by Mario blush in Mellow Mauve. All right, I am gonna try a new mascara. This is um, the new one from Clinique, the High Impact Hi-Fi Full Volume. I just curled this side. I've heard really great things about this mascara, so I really want to try it. Oh yeah, I can already tell. I have the black-brown color in this one. Okay, yep. I can already tell I'm gonna love this and that's rare. Usually with mascaras, I don't love them right away. It usually takes me a little while, but this one, I can already tell. It's so separating and my lashes are in like the worst state they've ever been in it, been in at the moment. Let me show you this. So this is what the wand looks like. So it's skinnier here and then it gets a little bit wider down there. But, okay, I can kind of see immediately why this has been getting, or I've heard good reviews. I feel like it doesn't get a ton of hype. I've just, the people I've seen trying it have said that it's really good. But I feel like Clinique is one of those brands that just does not get a ton of hype, you know? Okay, yeah, this is good, you guys. Fingers crossed it does not smudge today. Because this, I can already tell, is going to be a favorite. Hope it wears well. Let's do the other side. All right. We made it to destination number one. I'm going to run in here. I'm at Old Navy right now. I have, I ordered some stuff on Black Friday. Most of it I liked, but there were a few things that I wasn't crazy about. So I'm going to run in here and return them. And then there's a Target next door that I'm going to run into. So let's go. I did get a few things when I was in there. Of course, I returned a few things and then I bought a few things. So it evens out, right? Right. Um, that dress was super cute. I didn't get it because it wasn't on sale and I don't really have anywhere to wear it anyway, but it was very cute. And I don't know what possessed me to, to try on those leather pants. And they were cute, but 
they fit really well in the legs and the butt, but they are too big in the waist. So I didn't get those, but I did get that green bodysuit and that ruched top. And then I got a really cute scarf too that I've seen before and I really wanted it. So I got that, but I'll show you that later. So now I'm going to head to, I was going to go to this Target, but I think I'm actually going to go to a different Target. This is a small Target. I have a larger Target that's closer to my house that has more stuff. So I think I'm going to go there instead of this Target, but I have to get uh, the Sephora pickup order that I mentioned earlier. So that's where we're heading next. <music> I will show you what I got. Um, I didn't get a ton at Target. Nothing super exciting, honestly, but I'll show you. I got some bananas. I got some coffee creamer for my husband. I got some cottage cheese also for my husband. He loves cottage cheese. I don't like it. I think it's disgusting. And let's see. I got some peppermint tea. I got some blueberries. I got the dreaded magnesium citrate that I'm so looking forward to drinking. I got some Duo Lash Glue. If you saw my holiday makeup video, you will know why I got this. I uh, have been trying to experiment with lashes. And this, this is the Naturium Purple Ginseng Cleansing Balm. I was out of cleansing balm, I needed a new one. I really wanted the Versed one, they didn't have it. And then I was gonna get the DHC Cleansing Oil, they didn't have that either. So I went with this, I've never tried this one before, so. Hope for the best, but I need a cleansing balm because I use this every day. All right, and then at Old Navy, you pretty much saw everything that I got there, but you did not see this. I got this scarf. It, I live in North Carolina, so it's really not super cold here a lot of the time, but I don't know what it is about this scarf, but I just loved it. And there was only one, I think it was like 15, 10 or 15 dollars, but so cute, it has like black and cream and tan in here. So actually it was cold enough today for this. So hopefully I get a chance to use this cause it's really cute. And then let's see. Oh, I got some super cash. So I have $40 off $100 coming up in December. I got this shirt. You saw me try this on. This is really cute. It's kind of like, like a rayon fabric, but it's ruched in the front. It's really cute though. It fit really well. So I got this color and I got it in black. These were on sale too. 
I think. This one's kind of hard to see, but it's cute. And then, last thing from Old Navy, I got that bodysuit that I tried on the leather pants with. It's just green. It's really cute, though. It has, like, a square neckline, which I really like. And those were on sale, too, for, like, $10. Old Navy has some cute stuff right now. I said that in my Black Friday video. They really do. Don't sleep on Old Navy. All right, and then, finally... The Sephora pickup order. I did this, or I got this, I guess on Black Friday, maybe the day after, I don't remember. But I did get a Tarte blush. These were on sale, 50% off for Black Friday. I think I talked about this in my Black Friday video, how I was thinking about getting one of these. I got the shade Exposed, which looks like that. It's just a light nude color. I don't have, I do have one Tarte blush, but it's it's not a, like a permanent shade. It's a limited edition shade. I don't know if you can even see that. Um, and I like it, but I don't have one of like the original blushes. So, you know me and blush. I just can't get enough. And then this is really crazy, okay? What was I thinking with this? I don't really know, but the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette was 50% off. I think it was at Sephora and Ulta too. I never had this palette. I had the original Naked palette and I got rid of mine and it's one of my biggest regrets to this day because as you know, you can't get it anymore. Um, I don't know why I did that. I still am mad at myself and I did that years ago. <laughs> But anyway, I was like, you know what? I've never tried this one. And I feel like this is like a holy grail. I know it's an older palette, but you get a double-ended brush in here. And I don't know, the colors are really pretty. Yes, this is very old. Do I need this at all? Absolutely not. I don't know, we'll see. I'll use it in an upcoming video. And this was just our, I don't know, I didn't plan on buying this, but I don't know. Something was telling me I really wanted to test it out. And then the last thing I got is a different shade in the House Labs concealer. I have the shade 11, which is light neutral, and that one is fine. That one matches my face really well. Under my eyes, I tend to like something a little bit more pink sometimes neutral but the the one i have shade 11 is supposed to be neutral but i actually think it's pretty warm for neutral so i got shade 12 which is one shade up because i feel like i will like this better for under my eyes probably can't see that well but that shade 12 and that is what i got from Sephora. And let's see, they put something else. Oh, they put a soul food nourishing mask from Amika in there. And that is it. That is everything. All right. So I need to finish a video. So I'm probably going to go work on that. And then Chris is not home yet. So we'll have dinner. And that's about it. That's about it for my day today. But I'm going to go ahead and go work on my video. And I'll probably, maybe I'll see you a little bit later once he gets home.